Today we're going to find the slope using two points. Uh, but before I before I get to that, I want to want to talk about um, what is slope. And um, so let's get started. Well, we, we run across slope every day. Okay, it's either when you're driving a car, when you're going uphill, you may go uphill, um, you may go downhill. Um, when you are when you're skiing, um, you have you may go down a a slope. Um, you you'll go down a slope when you are um, when you're when engineers um, deal with parking lots. They have to think of the slope in which the rain will will fall away from from the from the parking lot um, so we we deal with slope every day so um, slope in math is is signified by using the letter M M stands for slope now you can write slope in a number of different ways. We can say that the slope also equals change in y over the change in x. Um, we could also say slope is the rise over the run. And we can also say that slope is y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. And this is what this is the uh, formula that we're going to be dealing with today. Um, but when you see any of these pieces, they all mean the same thing. Change of y over the change of x, that slope. M, that slope. Rise of the run, they're talking about slope. y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. That equals slope. And, and let's talk about y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. The, you read that that way, but the only thing that that means is, just making this clear, they're talking about the first y minus the second y. They're talking about the first x minus the second x. Okay? And, and let, me, let me show you what, what they're talking about. Okay? If I had point one, two, and um, seven, eight, okay. Um, this would be the first x, and this would be your first y, because we know that this this coordinate, the first coordinate is x. And this is this is x and this is y. This is x and this is y. But this is the first x. This is the first y. This seven, this is the second x. And this is the second y. Alright? Now not and, and you can you can change these. If I were to write the problem this way. Then now, this is going to be, going from left to right, this is my first x. And this is my first y. Now, this is my second x. And this is my second y. It does not matter which one, does not matter which one is your first or your second, as long as you, as you label them. If this is the first x, this can't be the second y. I, I like to tell my like to tell people this is the first pair and this is the second pair. Okay? So if this is the first pair, then this is my first X and this is my first Y. If this is the second pair, then this is my second X and this is my second Y. And if I interchange them, then this will be my first pair and this will be my second pair. Well this is now my first X and my first Y, and this is now my 
second X and my second Y. Okay? But it doesn't matter as long as you keep your pairs or your coordinates together. Okay? All right. So, let, let's just let's just stick with this problem here. Okay? Let's use 7 8 and 1 2. Now, in order to use um, y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2, you have to know your integer rules. You need to know how to subtract integers. So if you have not uh, watched the video on subtracting integers, I recommend you watching that right now because you have to know how to do that before you can apply this formula right here. Okay? So before we get started, I'm going to label everything, okay? Because I, I think that's where a lot of people uh, mess up because they don't label their, their parts of their two um, coordinates here. So this is going to be my first X, and this is my first Y, and this is my um, second X, and this is my second Y. So now that I have that, I know that y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over um, x sub 1 minus x sub 2. Now, I, I can easily substitute this, okay? So I need my first y. Well, where's my first y? Here's my first y right here. And I'm going to subtract my second y. Okay, and my denominator here, I, um, I need to find my first x. My first x is 7. And I'm going to subtract my second x, which is right here. So I'm going to end up with 8 minus 2. Well, what is 8 minus 2? 8 minus 2 is 6. And what is 7 minus 2? 7 minus 2 is 6, which equals 1. Now, now I want to prove to you that it really does not matter which one is your first or your second, okay? L let, me, let me prove that right now. Let's say I had um, 1, 2, and 7, 8. Okay, well, now this is my first x, and this is now my first y. And this is my second x, and this is my second y. Okay? So, I'm going to write y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x sub 1 minus x sub 2. And you know, a lot of people get um, caught up on, on doing the, making sure you have your, it's, your first and your second, it really does not matter. It really doesn't. Let me show and I'm showing you why. Okay, so right now, what is my first y? My first y is 2. And I'm going to subtract my second y. My second y is 8. Well, what is my um, what is my first x? My first x is 1, and I'm going to subtract my second x. My second x is here. Well, when I subtract, when I subtract them, I'm going to end up with, what is 2 minus 8? 2 minus 8 is negative 6. What is 1 minus 7? 1 minus 7 is negative 6. Well, negative 6 divided by negative 6 equals a 1. So you still end up with the same thing. It doesn't matter whether you put it, whether this pair is first and this is second, or whether this is first and that's second. It doesn't matter. Okay? I like for you to work one. I'm going to give you negative 6 and 4 
and 8 and um, 4. Negative 4. Let's make it negative 4. Okay. If you'll please solve that. Um, I know I, I know I made it a little bit more challenging this time but by putting the negatives in there. But I want to show you how the negative, how to have, by having the negatives in there, will affect our problem with that minus sign. Okay? If you'll please turn the video off right now and um, find the slope using these two points. Okay? We know that we need to label our first x and our first y and our second x and our second y. So, this is going to be our first x, and this is our first y. This is going to be our second x, and this is going to be our second y. Okay? So, um, now, I'm trying to find the slope. And I know that sl the slope is y sub 1 minus y sub 2 over x of 1 minus x of 2. Alright. Where is my first y? My first y is 4. And I'm going to subtract my second y. My second y is negative 4. So I have to write negative 4. Some people take for granted that this negative represents that negative, but this is minus. This is 4 minus negative 4. I'm subtracting this minus this. That's how I ended up with this expression right here. So in my denominator, now I need to find my first x. Where's my first x? Here's my first x. So that's negative 6 minus where's my second x my second x is right here I want to put an 8 here which is 8 really if you label label your 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 first x and second x and first y and second y this process will go easy the problem where people make where students make their mistake is that they don't label anything. They just take for granted, okay, let me put this one here, put this one here, and all that stuff. Okay? And you can't do that. You gotta be you gotta be very exact on where everything is placed. Okay? So again, you need to know your integer rules. So I have four minus negative four. Four minus negative four is going to give you a positive eight. And negative 6 minus 8 is going to give you a negative 14. I can reduce that down to, um, by, using the, by using a factor of 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. And you can just write that as negative 4 sevenths. Okay. Let's work one. Let's. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't see it. <laughs> okay. Let's. Um, we're gonna write this as negative four seven. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's try another one. One more. Okay. Let's try two, negative six, and negative four negative one. All those negatives, okay? If you'll try this one, pause the video, please. Okay. Let's begin. Okay? First thing you want to do when you're finding the slope using two points is label your X's and Y's. This is my first set. And this is my second set. 
Or I can make this my first step and make this my second step. It does not matter. If you remember in the first example that I did, it doesn't matter. Okay? As long as you keep set one with set one and set two with set two. Okay? So this is going to be my first X and this is going to be my first Y. This is going to be my second X and this is going to be my second Y. So, and I'm finding the slope. So I always want to write down my formula, write down my formula first. Okay. So, where's my first y? My first y is here, so I'm going to write negative 6. And I want to subtract, I want to subtract my second y. My second y. I make both of these red so they'll stick out. Okay. I want to subtract my second y. Okay, so I want to subtract my second y is negative 1. And, and the, reason why, the reason why I put this parentheses around here is because if I didn't put this parentheses around this negative 1, it will look like this. And for some people, that's a little confusing to have that minus minus. It's confusing. So if I put it for parentheses around that negative 1, it sort of helps that negative 1 stick out a little bit. Okay? So, where is my first x? My first x is negative, it's positive 2. And I want to subtract. Where's my second x? My second x is right here. Okay, make sure I get everything on the, on the slide this time. Okay, so um, I need to solve my top here. I have negative 6 minus negative 1, which is a negative 5. I have 2 minus negative 4, which will give me a positive 6, which equals, I can just write it as negative 5. Six. These two are the same, okay? Um, I'll have to do a video on fractions, some videos on fractions. Um, but the final answer, the slope is negative 5, 6. Okay? I hope this video helped you out. If you have any suggestions or comments, if you'll please email me at mathwithmoon at gmail.com. And I will see you next time. Have a good day.